All right, so as most of you know, part of the improve always and always lifestyle involves a lot of push-ups for my brain, which means I do a lot of reading. I'm very important. Uh, I have many leather-bound books. So I thought I would come on here and give you four books that I've read recently that have been really cool and I think you would like as well. First, How to Live by Derek Sivers. It's actually How to Live, 27 Conflicting Answers and One Weird Conclusion. In typical Derek Sivers fashion, there's a lot of wisdom and so the conflicting answers are really funny, especially in this age of influencers where one day you'll hear, this is how you do something and then the next day you hear something completely different. Great book. Next, a classic, The Richest Man in Babylon. Of all the finance books I've read through the years, this is a classic that had somehow eluded me. I don't know how I'd never read this before. Great book, it's a parable, and look, I don't care how old you are, if you're, if you're young, if you're old, timeless wisdom in this book about financial management. Next, The Unbeatable Mind by Mark Devine. Mark Devine is a former Navy SEAL. He's the founder of SEAL Fit. This book has everything to do with mindfulness, flow, endurance, just all kinds of uh, utility value crammed into this book. Cannot more highly recommend it. Uh, Mark Devine is just a phenomenal human being. And then last, a great book, Michael Easter's Comfort Crisis. So Peter Atia actually said this is one of his like top three books that he's read of all time. That's why I grabbed it whenever I heard Peter Atia talking about it. And here's the cool thing. I've said this and I've actually written about this in the Vitruvian letter multiple times that our ancestral bodies were not designed for this uber comfortable 72 degree climate controlled habitat we find ourselves in. I mean, let's face it, we can go out and crush 1700 calories exerting zero energy to get it. We were not made for that. And so the comfort crisis talks about the scientific research that says we might be just a little too comfortable. But in addition to that, Michael Easter to put himself in complete discomfort and see what his body was capable of. He documents a caribou hunting trip in the tundra that he went on that is absolutely phenomenal. So that is four books to do some push-ups for your brain. I hope you enjoy them. And whether it's reading, whether it's eating, whether it's spiritual, whether it's emotional, whether it's mindfulness, whatever it is, always endeavor to improve always in all ways. I'm out.